Thanks, Rita. Hello, welcome to Wales Today. I'm Nick Savini. The headlines this lunchtime. On his first campaign visit to Wales, the Labour leader, Sakia Starmer, pledges to work with ministers in Cardiff to bring down waiting lists. And Liam Stimson is found guilty of attacking and raping a 40-year-old homeless woman in the centre of Cardiff. Good afternoon. On his first visit to Wales since the election was called, the UK Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has promised to work with the Welsh Government to cut NHS waiting times. Decisions about the health service are already made by Vaughan Gething's Labour government in Cardiff. Sir Keir also pledged his support for the First Minister, who's facing a no-confidence vote. Our political editor, Gareth Lewis, spoke to him, and he is in Abergavenny for us now, and we can speak to Gareth now. What did he have to say, Gareth? Nick, thanks very much uh, indeed. It's taken a while, hasn't it? Eight days for Sir Keir Starmer to make his first campaign visit to Wales. And I have to say, the whole event was pretty slick on the whole. But mention the phrase prime ministerial to any of the Labour candidates who are here assembled today. And you can almost see them touching woods because they do not want to tempt fate. What did he talk about then? Well, he endorsed very quickly in his speech under pressure First Minister Vaughan Gething. He also promised, without really going into the specifics, to fight for every steel job in Wales. And then there was this promise too to cut waiting times on the Welsh NHS. Curious because it is the Welsh Government that controls the NHS here. And that is a point I put to Sir Keir after his speech. Are you deliberately confusing people on who controls what over promises to cut NHS waiting lists here? That's, that's the Welsh Government's domain. Yes, absolutely, and that's why I'm talking to the First Minister here about it. What I've said is uh, the step that we will take in England, that of course then, uh, as you know, uh, means more funds coming to Wales so that they can deal with their waiting Would lists as well. you insist they spend it on the health service? No, I mean, they will, uh, they will spend it on waiting lists, but that is their choice, as it should be. Um, quite right too. What I'm saying is, if you have the privilege of us coming into government and serving, and it will be a privilege if we're elected in to serve, um, then you get the prospect of a Westminster-based Labour government working with the Welsh Labour government here. Nick, the Conservatives have said that the Welsh Labour government's record on waiting lists is, quote, abysmal. Plaid Cymru that Sir Keir is speaking as if 25 years of devolution have never happened. You know, for a lot of the people here today, Nick, this is coming to the end now of quite a long race to Downing Street. But as any keen runner will tell you, the closing stages of any race that you're in are often the most difficult. Indeed. Uh, OK, Gareth in Abergavenny for us. Thank you very much indeed. Meanwhile, Plaid Cymru's leader says it is time to kick the Conservatives out of power, but also that people here have had enough of Labour taking Wales for granted. Rina Yorworth was speaking at his party's campaign launch in Bangor, adding Plaid is the only party putting Wales first. Our job, whatever the circumstances in Westminster after the election, is to stand up for the people of Wales. That's our, uh, that's our key message uh, in this election campaign, that it's time to get rid of a Conservative uh, government and that we can't uh, either ignore the fact that we need to hold firmly to account any incoming uh, government. That will be uh, our, uh, our mission. A man's been found guilty of raping a homeless woman in Cardiff. 24-year-old Liam Stimson from Cardiff was convicted of two counts of rape and one count of causing a person to engage in sexual activity without consent. He was found guilty of a separate charge of causing grievous bodily harm with intent yesterday. Well, our reporter Colette Hume joins us from Cardiff Crown Court. Colette. Nick, Liam Stimson violently beat, stripped, raped and humiliated his victim in an attack which he captured on his mobile phone. An attack which took place two days after Christmas last year under a railway bridge in the heart of Cardiff city centre. Now, incredibly, Liam Tim Stimson told the jury that the woman wanted rough sex and had wanted the encounter, as he described it, to be filmed. The jury endured watching that video in which at one point the woman who cannot be identified because of the nature of the crimes holds her hands together as if in prayer and says to him, please don't hurt me, I've got kids to think about. 
The jury this afternoon found him guilty of all the charges. They wept as they returned their verdicts and they wept too as they watched those videos. The judge told Dimson he will face a substantial sentence when he is sentenced at Cardiff Crown Court. Nick. OK, Colette, thank you. Lives have been lost because improvements to mental health services in North Wales haven't been made quickly enough. That is according to a patient watchdog. Care at the Herguest unit in Bangor and the Tower Van Ward at Espati Gland Cloyd was criticised in a series of official reports going back up to 10 years. Now, a new review says less than half the improvements needed have been made. Betsy Kidwalady, University Health Board, says it is committed to improving things. Chris Dearden reports. Still grieving, still frustrated, and still worried. Phil Dickerty's mother, Joyce, died in 2012 on the Towel Van Dementia Ward. Losing her was hard enough, but the care she received as she died is something he vowed no one else should ever have to suffer. She was given no uh, consideration, even for her basic needs uh, on her deathbed, even, even for the want of a pillow. The conditions that we witnessed uh, on the night of her death were atrocious. There was people banging on the door, there was people crawling around the ward naked. The staff there didn't seem to be able to, to cope. And things got so bad that the Towel Van Ward was closed completely in 2013. Healthcare experts were called in to look at what went wrong. They drew up lists of what needed to change, but a decade after Towel Van was shut, a new review says that many of those changes still haven't been made. These recommendations were meant to be implemented and embedded a long time ago. And the fact that we're here, in the worst case, almost 10 years on, uh, still discussing things that haven't been done, it's extremely distressing. But Towel Van wasn't the only part of the mental health service in North Wales under scrutiny. An official report also looked into the Herguest unit in Bangor in 2013. Again, recommendations for change, which still haven't been fully carried out. The patient's watchdog says people have suffered and even died because the health board didn't make those changes fast enough. What we've seen in those 10 years is a number of incidents. The effect has been ongoing and, and there have been tragedies and there have been lives lost. And so today, members of the health board have been discussing how to finally finish making the changes recommended several years ago. They also wanted to say sorry for poor health care in the past. The patient's watchdog, Fleiss, says this time things really need to change. It's calling for an independent panel to be set up to make sure that the improvements do now get done. Chris Deedon reporting there. Right, let's get the weather forecast. Derek is here. Quite nice out there and getting a bit better. Yeah, it's not looking too bad for the weekend, Nick. The start of meteorological summer, of course, on Saturday, uh, June the 1st. It's looking mainly dry and settled thanks to high pressure. Back to today, though, and a lot of cloud in Tintern a few hours ago, but the sun is trying its best uh, to break through. There are a few showers dotted around uh, this afternoon, but many places will stay dry. The clouds are breaking up with some sunshine at times. There is a noticeable breeze today, a north-northwesterly wind. That's taking the edge off the temperature. Up to 19 Celsius in Cardiff, but... Uh, Quite a bit cooler on parts of the north and west coast with the wind coming in off the sea. Most places dry this evening, some late sunshine. Overnight, some clouds in the north thick enough for one or two showers. Otherwise, most places dry, the wind easing, with temperatures dropping to about 8 Celsius in Brecon, 11 Celsius in Hrithin. Tomorrow then we have high pressure centred over the Atlantic to the west of Ireland and that will influence our weather over the weekend. So for tomorrow then, most places dry, some patchy clouds could squeeze out the odd shower in the south, but much of the country dry, the best of the sunshine I think in the north and west. Highest temperatures in the south, up to 20 Celsius in Cardiff and the Vale of Glamorgan. But again, it will be cooler on parts of the north and west coast where the wind is coming in off the sea. Now, tomorrow night will be dry and quite cool with lighter winds and a clear sky, temperatures dropping into single figures. And then for the weekend, it is looking fairly promising thanks to high pressure. Might be the odd shower in places on Saturday. Otherwise, it's looking dry, some patchy cloud and sunny spells, feeling warmer too with lighter winds. Not too bad for the start of June.
Nick. Not too bad. Derek, thank you very much. That's Wells Today, Lucio, and we'll have your headlines this evening's bulletin at 6.30. Until then, from all of us on the Lunchtime team, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon.